So today's YouTube shout out of the day is going to go to Carla and Nick Rochelle. Their channel dwells on explicit topics with a comedic delivery, okay? Viewers can expect to learn and laugh. If you guys do not know, they are actually Nick and Carla. They also have a trucking channel, which they do different vlogs and take you along for the ride. Make sure that you subscribe to both channels, okay? The link will be in the description down below for both of their channels. They always have lit content, man. Let's check out a brief preview of their channel right now. I'm Nick, and this is my wife, Carla. Yeah, I felt like I was in the Matrix. It was like, no, no. There's so much content on YouTube, so why the hell should you watch us? Well, I tell you, we've been together for six years now, and have no intentions on being that next why we broke up couple. What we are here to do is make y'all laugh and sometimes discuss uncomfortable topics that we all can learn from. But please keep in mind that this channel is for a mature audience. We hope to see y'all there. Peace. All right, guys, so like I said, man, click the link in my description down below. Go find my comment and comment under mine, letting them know that the Diamond Life sent you, okay? Smash their like button, turn on their bell so you can be notified every time they post another lit video, man. Y'all show them love. Love you guys so much, man. Let's go ahead and get right into this lit ass video, man. Let's get it. What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back. To another mother freaking video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just get right. like Let's not go too soon now. I feel the same. And a lot of girls hate it right now. Hey, oh, I would rather pass that one to you. Like we used to do. And today, baby, y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. So today, you guys wanted me to do this lit video. We're gonna go ahead and get into it, man. Right below this video, make sure you cop your Diamond Life, Diamond Dynasty, baby, merch. Everybody who has already cop, thank you guys so much. And everybody who is about to go cop that drip today, baby, thank you guys as well. Also, click the link in my description down below, man, to go ahead and subscribe to my spiritual channel. Everybody who has already done so, thank you guys so much. And also, while you're there make sure you click my link for carmarshall.com okay if you are looking for a newer used vehicle or if you just want to support me a little bit further make sure you click the dealer prices that's how i get paid thank you guys so much for helping me out on that and let's go ahead and get into this video man if you have not already make sure you join the dynasty baby subscribe to my youtube channel like this video comment your thoughts and opinions down below share this video with a friend hit that bell so you can be notified every time i post another lit ass video make sure that you dm me at the diamond life 888 let me know what i should be reacting to next and tell a friend to tell a friend today ain't your mama today uncle joe he's still a hoe let's get right into this motherfucking video let's get it y'all so you guys wanted me to react to mila asking chrissy's mom if it was okay for her to basically marry or propose to chrissy danielle okay you guys wanted my reaction to this let's see what's going on with miss mila j4k let's get it and her mom is out here out of, from out of town she's visiting so um, Chrissy's about to be editing and my hey. mom's about to go get some food. So hey. I'm gonna prank her mom and just say, Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, man. Are you ever, is it ever awkward, man, when you have to be alone with your significant other's parents or one of their parents, okay? Let me know in the comment section down below. She's silly to me, right? Once in a while, I don't need the long ones anyway. Try better for the short ones, that way. You know what? Don't smoke as much. Duh. <laughs> Kids don't smoke. When I'm trying to smoke, the hundreds are good. Cause People in general <laughs> don't smoke. Get more. <laughs> You've been to Five Guys before? One time. I think maybe she should have moved like, that phone mm -hmm. out of the way, but you know, whatever. Five Guys is fire. Flame. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all mess with Five Guys. Look, stupid. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. I'm not picky. That's what she said. Are you hungry? I see. Yeah, she's what do you want? I don't care. No. <laughs> no, you just want me to pick. That's every woman, okay? That's every I know I'm a woman too, and half the time I don't even Wherever know what I'm going to do. I would pick something that I just don't like. Yeah. So I'm not picky with it. Oh, shit. Hey, I need to talk to you about something. Mm. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Now that we're alone head ass thing. <laughs> no, but um mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. Uh -oh. 
I'm gonna just say this, man, okay? No matter how much I love my in-law, you can't smoke that shit around me, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying you cannot smoke that shit around me, baby, okay? No secondhand smoke. But anyway, let's continue. It's nothing bad to me, but I have to ask you because you hurt my heart, so. But, um. Mm, she thinking hard in the bitch now. Look at her. <laughs> she thinking oh, hard in the home. Aww. <laughs> Wait, that's too hard to spit out. Because it's a big thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> she said, no I've shit. I've never thought about that before. Look, she pulling no. that bitch extra hard now. Oh, that's sweet. That's so cute. I thought, <laughs> oh my God, what does she want to talk to me about? You serious? You okay with that? Of course. What would be wrong with that? <laughs> I know. Shout out to all the parents who actually accept their kids, whether they're gay, straight, transsexual, bisexual, whatever it is. Shout out to the real parents out there who do not judge their sons or daughters, okay? Much love to y'all. Y'all make life a little easier for us, you know? I wanna watch her right here. Maybe, I think her camera is. Mm. Like she has a camera. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, if you don't... How should I tell her? I don't know, but we gotta think something good. Hmm. Mama is all in, okay? I like seeing that, though. That's dope. Uh, Shout out to Chris's mom. Dirk asked me to marry him in the mail. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> he's locked up. Mm. You think she'll be like, uh, what do you think she gonna say no? No, I don't think so. I think she will. Y'all leave me a comment down below, let me know. What do you guys think Chrissy Danielle would say if she was proposed to by Miss Mila 4K? What do you guys think that Chrissy Danielle's response would be? Well, how do you think Johnny would feel? <laughs> I'm only laughing because I, I don't really care what he feels. Oh. <laughs> because he is <laughs> sometimes. I think he'd be okay. He just, he could act. Stupid. I don't know if Chris ever told you about when, when she told when I told him she was gay. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. I wanted to literally murder him. <laughs> she happy. was getting ready to throw her phone. And I grabbed her arm. I said, Don't break your phone over him. Okay, <laughs> don't that do phone. it. I heard her say, I hate you. I'm like, what the fuck did he say to her? So mm -hmm. I took her phone away from her. She It's too soon, though, you know. We've been together. It feels right. It feels right. We've been together for a year and a few months. I feel like just because you might be moving faster than other couples doesn't mean that you're not gonna last. And I feel like just because you're together for a long time, it doesn't mean that you are going to stay together. Okay, y'all, leave me a comment down below and let me know your opinion. At the end of the day, it's your decision, but to have the parents behind you means everything. I like to hear that. It really does. I'm not used to being with someone in the family like you. Aww. Well, that's okay. terrible. Tear. It's 
feel about asking for somebody's blessing in this day and age shit is so crazy like little things like that definitely do go unnoticed so y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about it you think it's very important for the person that you're with to ask your parent for your hand in marriage is that really something that is needed or necessary or does it depend on the dynamic of the relationship does it depend i think it really depends on if that parent even supports you guys being in a relationship. If not, then what am I asking this person who doesn't even support us? Why am I asking them for their opinion? It doesn't even matter at that point, you know? Because if you really cared about me and you really loved me unconditionally, you wouldn't care who I was with as long as that person was treating me right and was making me happy, okay? Adding value to my life. So that's just how I feel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. On to this next thing, man. We're gonna talk about Miss Queen Nyjia. We're gonna talk about this situation with Queen Nyjia, all right? A lot of you guys wanted my opinion on it. There was a tweet, okay? A young lady stated, you walked into my nail salon in Hollywood and were rude and stuck up AF. Not at all how you portray yourself on social media. Been a supporter for years, but unfollowed your ass everywhere after that not into the fake vibe good luck succeeding with that bs okay i did add some things here and there but don't judge me anyway so what she's saying is queen nyjah is stuck up okay she came into the nail salon acting like she owned the place or whatever the case may be so lee which is queen's manager stated that queen was very nice during that encounter she was there all right so right now it's just he say she say information but I will say this, man, it's a lot of celebrities who do act stuck up and they feel like they need to be treated like royalty. In my opinion, Queen has never came off that way. Queen has always seemed very humble. I don't know her. Of course, we don't know what happens off of camera, 
but seems very unlikely that Queen would actually act that way, especially to somebody who is a supporter, okay? So we all know that a lot of people do anything for clout, all right? So it could be one of those situations to where somebody just wanted their tweet to go viral or wanted to cause unnecessary drama. It should really not affect her at all because at the end of the day, man, she knows who she is. Yeah, man, if you don't have that tough skin, if you don't have that thick skin, then people will really get to you. But if you know who you are and you know what you're on this earth to do and you're doing that thing that you play, you were placed on this earth to do, then you should take pride in who you are and what you are doing, okay? Anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. What's your opinion on the situation, all right? Do you believe that Queen Nyjah actually did this to this person or you feel like this person is just doing anything for clout? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys so much, man. If you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, Steve Baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend today, ain't your mama today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. And we are. Why you playing that?